Okay, back. Straight away for me. Uh, Super Famicom stuff. Um, I just need to get a little bit organised. So we'll finish off this. Um, we'll finish off this smaller box first. Uh, there's only four. There's only four in here. But first, um, I got my replacement Super Famicom controller. Now you may remember I mentioned this in the pickup video. The um, the A button on one of the others was broke, so I uh, sent this one over. Looks great. So that's that. Now I can use the broken controller to test that that retro bright, just, just to see what happens. Um, I'm also going to have to use this on some of these cartridges because they are a little bit yellow. Uh, it doesn't bother me because I know I can get rid of it. Uh, the first one, though, out of the box is F Zero. All oh, these are still Japanese, by the way. Um, yeah, F Zero, classic game. Had to get this, especially for the price as well, which was two dollars fifty. <coughs> uh, next up <coughs> is Battle Dodgeball 2. I have played one of these before in the past. I don't know where or how. Uh, so yeah, I decided to get this again based on the price, <coughs> which was again around about three three dollars, just over three dollars. It's okay. It's not as good as I was hoping it was going to be. Uh, there are there are better dodgeball games out there. But it's you know it's nice to have. Uh, next is a game which I, to be honest, wasn't too fussed about picking up for the for the Super Famicom. Uh, I mean it's a great game, but I already have it on the Mega Drive. Um, so yeah, to be honest, this was a bit of a a why not type of purchase. Again, really cheap. I forget the actual price for this. I should have written them down. I remember most of them. But there's a couple which escaped me. Um, I'm pretty sure that again this was only like four dollars, there or thereabouts. And it is Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I do believe, in my in my opinion, that the Mega Drive version is better. I think. Oh, this box is now empty. And the last game out of out of this little pile, I'm not sure what this is called in Japanese now. I did, and I, I, it's slipped my mind. Um, but the English Western release was called Pocky, Pocky and Rocky. Yeah, awesome game, fantastic game. As I mentioned with uh, that Macross game, uh, loads of memories playing this on the Super Nintendo emulators. Uh, I absolutely loved it, especially the second one as well. Which I'll probably have to look into uh, getting. Okay, big big box. Yeah, yeah, this box. Um, like I said, just pure greed. <laughs> oh, uh, there's another look at it in case you didn't watch the last video. Absolutely huge, heavy thing. Uh, inside this box, we've got tons of Super Famicom games, mostly loose, but there's there's some boxed. Some box games. Uh, there's also the Neo Geo games in here as well, which explains the weight. I have, I have been inside the box. Uh, just ripped it up, and as soon as I got back with it yesterday, uh, just the, the amount of stuff in here is ridiculous. Um, what I'll do is I'm just going to remove the, the boxed games first, put them to one side. Neo Geo. Neo Geo, Neo Geo, and the, the others can stay there. Right, this is, is probably probably going to have to be a random because it's um yeah lucky dip. The first one out of the box, um, not what I expected. Um, this is probably just the fact that it's you know it's in Japanese and I wasn't too sure. But I did expect this to be a platformer. Uh, it turns out it's more of a mini game compilation type thing. And it's Tiny Toon Adventures. Don't know what the subtitle is. I assumed it was. Um, what was it called on the Super Nintendo? Babsy's Big Break or something? Is that right? 
So I'm sure it should be a platformer. Maybe there's another one. If anyone knows, let me know. Because I do like the Tiny Toon games. Obviously, I've got one on the Game Boy. I've got the Meg Drive. So it'd be nice to have another one. Next up is Star Kirby Super Deluxe. Not tried this one yet. I did uh, manage to pop a few in last night. Um, this, there was too many though. I think I managed only to get through about 12. <clears throat> so that's Star Kirby Super Deluxe. There we go. There we go. We'll do this one next. Classic game. Joan Mack, also known as Caveman Ninja. Maybe that's what it's still called, I'm not too sure. Good game. Nice little platformer. Um, where are we going now? Okay, we'll do these two. Bit of a series here. Uh, the third one came with the, the Super Famicom, so I decided to get the other two. Uh, this was actually a, a bulk deal, both of them. Um, buying our best offer, four dollars something for the pair. All right. Super Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Country, and also obviously Super Donkey Kong Two. That's that one. Um, next game. Um, yeah, I got this. Oh, based off memories and stuff, really. It's one thing I've been doing just before I decided to pick up the Super Famicom. Because uh, I was planning on getting a Super Nintendo quite a while ago. I did mention that to a few people. Um, but I wasn't having any luck. So I, I got something else instead. I forget what. Um, so yeah, I've been looking at uh, magazines basically, um, online PDF versions, of various ones, um, Super Play, awesome, awesome magazine, Me Machines, Nintendo Magazine System, Total, stuff like that, and um, yeah, so I've, I've just been um, sort of taking myself back in time a little bit, reading the reviews and getting getting all excited about you know, the other previews and whatnot. So yeah. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. Um, been loving every minute. And this game came up in, I think it's Nintendo Magazine System. It got pretty good, pretty good reviews. And I remember it back when I was younger. It was always used to be mentioned in various places. Plus, you'd always see it in those grey import ads and stuff like that. It's based off a Japanese cartoon TV show. I don't think it ever came over here. I'm not sure, but it is. Ran my half. Don't know what the subtitle is. <laughs> I'm not even sure which one it is in this series, actually. Um, I'm kind of thinking it's the first or the second one. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. So yeah, that's Ran my half. It's one of it's one of the fighters, though. I'm pretty sure the the series went a slightly different direction occasionally. <clears throat> well, I, was, I was made sure I managed to pick up a, a fighter. Where are we going now? Should we do you and you? No, we'll do these first. Uh, some of you may question why I've got both of these. Um, and I, I'd understand that. But I've got them both now. First up, Street Fighter 2. Uh, yeah, again, looking back in the magazines. Uh, obviously, this was all over the place everywhere uh, for really silly prices. Um, I mean, the, the Japanese and US version, you know, they were regularly selling up for well over £70. Uh, even the, when it finally came out in the UK, it was about 60 65 I think. <laughs> Craziness. And I, I managed to get this for less than $2. <coughs> £1.28, I think this was. <laughs> but. You can't have, you know, you can't have a Super Nintendo Super Famicom without this game. It just, it just can't be done. Um, and that leads us on to Street Fighter 2 Turbo, the better version. You know, many people will probably just go for this and leave the other one. But again, dirt cheap, um, two dollars something. 
I think this worked out at about 50 pence more than uh, World Warrior. But yeah, I mean, in my opinion, you have to have them both, you know? I think. Uh, next up, a couple of platformers. Nikki's Magical Adventure. Awesome game. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the Mickey games, the Disney games in general, back in the 8-bit, 16-bit era, were absolutely awesome. Uh, today, you know, there's not that many really being made on, on the crap. But yeah, this, one of the reasons why the 16-bit era is the best. It will always be the best uh, generation in gaming. You know, just do everything that's pretty much spot on. Uh, really know how to use a license back then. Mostly. Uh, also, Mickey's Magical Adventure 2, I think. I'm not too sure. Um, there is a subtitle, um, Mickey something mini. I'm not too sure. But I've got that one. Uh, again, both of them really cheap. Um, four or five dollars, a little bit more. I'm fine with that. I've got some shooters. We'll do these shooters first. Quite a few actually. Uh, first up, Darius Twin. I've not tried this one yet. I'm not too sure what it is. Is it is it Darius 2? I'm not I don't know. Well I've got it. Again, dirt cheap. About three dollars. Uh, next up, uh, launch title. Super R type. Again, I wasn't really too fussed about getting this. Simply because I've already got um, the R types on the Game Boy. Uh, plus, what's the other one? I forget. But yeah, I wasn't too fussed about getting it, but you know, price wise, again, less than $5. I was initially looking for R type 3. I uh, didn't find it. Uh, next up, though, another classic from Capcom. Area 88, also known as UN Squadron. Awesome game. And again, cheap. Seven ish dollars for that one. Another shooter. Pop and Twinby. Great stuff. I do have the, the, this version on the Game Boy. Um, so, yeah. Cool. Uh, forget what that was, actually, price wise. Yeah, I forget. Uh, again, it's another buy now best offer, as all these were. I'm not too sure. Less than six dollars anyway. Um, we're going uh, classic, classic game. Have to have this. Super Mario Kart. Have to have that one. Awesome game. I never really liked it that much up until now. Uh, I did sort of play it back in the day a little bit. Um, but I always thought Street Racer was better. Um, so yeah, I like it a lot more now. It's, it's, it's cool. Okay, where are we up to now? Not that many to go through. Surprising. <coughs> um, whack all these out now, just so I know what we're doing. Uh, first one, Go Go Ackman 2. Another one of those games I've played a lot on emulators. I do like I do like the third one better, um, but it's a little bit tougher to get hold of the third one. So it's cool. Um, next uh, side scrolling beat 'em up. Sonic Blast Man. Again, it's not really held in high regard. Really, to mediocre reviews when it came out. But I, I like the look of it, so I decided to get it. Uh, about six, seven dollars for this one. There was a second one as well, but higher price. Another shooter, classic Super Elast. Have to get this one. Have to have this in your collection. Great shooter, and also cheap. I mean, that was again somewhere in the region of four to six dollars. Um, where to now? Got some good ones here now. 
we'll do this one. Super Star Wars: The Empire Strikes Back. This was the only one this this seller had. He didn't have uh, the first or the third. I'm not too fussed about the first Super Star Wars. I think it's a little bit overrated. Um, I never really liked it all that much. Uh, this one's cool. I do like Super Return of the Jedi. I think that's probably the best. Um, so I'll have to keep my eye open for that one. Uh, sticking with the movie, <coughs> the movie theme. Um, this game came up um, from Snestastic not that long ago, I don't think. I don't think it was. And I did post a comment actually in that video saying that you know it's typical that the Super Nintendo gets you know the awesome games and the Mega Drive just didn't get shit <laughs> really when it came to this game anyway. And it is Indiana Jones' Greatest Adventures. Absolutely stonking game. Go and check out Snestastic's gameplay video if you've not seen it. Or if you don't know what this game's about. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, it's kind of nice that the... Obviously it's similar to Super Star Wars. But it's really cool that they just ha had the whole thing on one cartridge rather than splitting them up. It's a fantastic game. It is hard. But it is cool. Right. Oh, got five here now. And then we've got some boxed games as well after I almost forgot. Uh, first up though, we have a Final Fight guy. I do already have Final Fight 2, um, which is the weakest. Um, but I decided to go for Final Fight guy for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, the first Final Fight is, is a fantastic conversion on the, on the system, but you know, I think Capcom a little bit lazy with it and missed some stuff out on purpose and you know, all that stuff. So yeah, I just decided to go for this one. Six dollars. Whoa. Uh, next, another shooter, which I forget the actual title for this now. I'm really sorry, but, uh, but it's Parodius. Begins with a G. It's G something Parodius. I can't remember. Awesome game. Awesome. Um, another. Classic, you have to have this. I do have it on the Game Boy though as well. But, oh well. It's Contra Spirits. Um, also no, Alien Contra 3. Alien Wars or Super Pro Protector. Awesome stuff. Um, another classic. Again, I'm not sure what the title is. But it's basically Super Castlevania 4. Great game. One of the best in the series, I think. <clears throat> and lastly, uh, this is probably the most expensive one so far. Um, yeah, I think it is. This, I mean, the price of this cut loose cartridge was higher than three of the Neo Geo games which are coming up. <clears throat> Maybe even four of them. Yeah, this was about seventy dollars for a loose cartridge, yeah, which is what about forty pounds thereabouts. Um, but totally worth it. I'm moving all over the place here, aren't I? I'm very sorry. Yeah, awesome game, the best in the series. Snestastic's gonna know what this is because we sort of discussed it a little bit. Final fight, tough. Yeah, at first when I saw it for the for the price, buy now best offer, I put a best offer in it. I'm pretty sure it's seventy dollars, and I thought it's not going to get accepted. Now just looking around other sellers and obviously box complete. Uh, well, even some of the loose cartridges were quite expensive, a lot more than than I paid for it actually. So yeah, I've got it now anyway. It's all done, all done and dusted. It's in my possession. And it's frigging awesome. Definitely, it's the best Final Fight game ever made. Um, as for the genre, it's definitely in the top five. I'd, I'd, I'd rank it at just as high as Street of H2. That's how awesome it is. Go and get that game. Right, boxed games. A bit strange how I've got these. But I wanted them. 
and unfortunately the seller didn't have any loose carts but for the price I think I've, I've done pretty well <clears throat> now the first one is box but no manual and it's the Combo Tribes box has seen better days you know this this somewhere and uh, here and there um, there's the back this is one of those games that you know didn't meet that that greater reception when it came out um, uh, it re originated on the arcades which is where my memories of this game come from I uh, played this before and after school in the, the local arcade um, yeah I mean we loved it back then I have played it in the last few years uh, again on an emulator uh, probably main um, and yeah it's limited but for some reason I just couldn't stop playing it um, it's it's yeah it's, it's I think it's cool you know, it's basically just a cartoony version of Double Dragon yeah so I'm probably not going to keep this box if I'm honest I don't know but yeah I quite like it and again for the price which was six dollars something you know uh, this next game uh, came about uh, again based off um, mag the magazines I was reading uh, this this was reviewed in Nintendo magazine system by the legendary Jazz Rignall uh, he basically said it's an awesome game it's probably better than F-Zero um, so I thought I'd get it again dirt cheap less than six dollars and it is Exhaust Heat 2 Go. Box isn't too bad. A little bit of wear and tear here and there. You know, shelf wear and that stuff. It's not too bad though. You know. Um. Open it up. There we got the manual. All complete. And the cartridge and the baggie. Does anybody know where to get these baggies from? Because I want some. And I can't find any. Or anything really, you know, for loose carts. If anybody knows of anything, let me know. But anyway, that's F F F1. I was going to say F0. F1 exhaust heat. Right, last three now. All shooters. Uh, first up, another Parodius game. Parodius Da. Again, I had this on the uh, on the Game Boy. Gorgeous artwork. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I really, really do like these boxes. I'm probably going to kick myself, you know, somewhere down the line that I've got loose carts, but it's okay. I'll, what I'll probably do is I'll probably look at some of the better games I've got and then see about transferring them into boxes and, and stuff at a later date. Manual looks great, a little bit creased, nothing major. What it looks like inside, awesome stuff. Uh, yeah, this just has the cart there. Again, in the baggie. So that's Parodius Da. There is another Parodius game, I believe. There's three altogether. Um, I'll have to look for the other one. I'm pretty sure there's three. Next up, like I said, another shooter. These all shooters now. Um, one of the best on the system, without without a doubt. Axley. In great condition, this box. So I don't. What? <laughs> yeah, this is in really nice condition. Um, I need to look into getting these better ones protected as well. <clears throat> Manual. In awesome condition. Um, let's find a nice quick page. Quickly, oh that'll do. What's that? Um, cartridge in the back, and also, what else do we have here? Ah. <clears throat> we have some kind of catalogue thing. Um, there's some games and accessories and things like that. 
So we have that. We'll have a little sort of precautions electrical thing. And the original reg card. Awesome. Put this back in here. Oh, come on. So that's Axley. Fantastic game. Really nice condition. Twelve dollars. Oh, you don't want to go there. You go over there. And the last one. Um, again, box is in really nice condition. Sonic Wings. That's the back. Another shooter. Um, pretty sure this is called Aero Fighters. Is that right? Is it? I don't know. Oh. <clears throat> the manual in again awesome condition. Uh, that will be. Oh. There's a page. Cartridge in the back. <clears throat> and again we have uh, an electrical warnings thing. And the original Rich card. Nice. Yeah, this Sonic Wings was um, $23. Expensive ish, I suppose. <clears throat> Worth every penny. Worth every penny. And that's it for the Super Famicom. 26 minutes. Oh dear. <laughs> I knew it was going to be long. Ton of stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll end now. I'll get ready for the Neo Geo stuff. Uh, let me know what you think, guys, about the games here. Uh, there's no more Super Famicom stuff coming on the way. So um, if you've been watching the, the pickup videos and there's some games that you've not seen and you'd recommend, let me know. That'd be great. Um, yeah, and that's about it, really. Don't think there's anything else. Is that all there is? Um, right then, I'll clear this lot up and I'll do the Neo Geo video. Hopefully I'll see you all there. Uh, thanks for watching again, guys. Um, yeah, see you in a bit.